despite efforts by different governments to replace english with urdu we see that in pakistani society english is still deeply entrenched the continue continuation of english as the official language is because this policy is to the advantage of the elite the elite who are themselves the policy makers the privileging of english goes to their favor because all the serious jobs all serious work scholarships good positions in the government in the um, hierarchy the upper levels of hierarchy all these things are reserved for those who know english so this knowledge of english gives them a competitive edge over the masses and therefore no serious effort actually there are policies announcements but we see there is a lack of a seriousness and sincerity in changing this policy english is also looked as a cultural capital which has a snob value so those who know english are considered more privileged they are considered um the elite and therefore uh, those who know english often act as a snob so english also has this snob value it also acts as a class identity marker so when you want to identify people who belong to different classes in pakistan those who know english would belong to the upper class and those who do not know english would belong to the um lower socio economic classes um we have these jokes uh, which we often see on tv as well where those who do not know english or who are um, from urdu medium uh, system of education are often called batmiz urdu medium etc so english in pakistan also enjoys a snob value english performs several important serious functions in pakistan above all it is a language of higher education um, of course in private schools um, it is taught from uh, the very beginning but um, in terms of higher education it is the language of higher higher education for all um there are very few disciplines in which we have enough um, resources available in urdu otherwise um, it is the language of uh, higher education for all the disciplines um it is also a language of communication for all government work but not only government work um it is also uh, used um, for office work in the armed forces it is also the language of media and broadcast broadcast along with urdu um it is also used along with urdu in trade and commerce so there is a lot of trade and commerce in pakistan uh, which takes place um, only through the medium of english because this trade is between uh, countries like pakistan let's say and china where the languages are very different and um, the the common language for trade between these two countries is english and then of course english is used for trade with english speaking countries as well the reason behind this status of english as i have already said is because of the serious functions that english performs in um uh pakistan so it is a prestige language which is required for a decent job you cannot really expect to find a decent job in pakistan if you are not good at english all these job advertisements that we see in the newspapers they all clearly mention the knowledge of english as one of the prerequisites for better education again you need english you can get through without english but for better education and for reaching the highest levels of education you uh, need to know english it is also a language that you need for any academic or serious discussion all the research journals are published in english and all the disciplines education science medicine etc so if you want to participate in any serious business in pakistan you need to know english because of all these reasons um the availability of jobs um for those who know english uh, all the research academic work being conducted in english the privileging of english etc we now see that even the underprivileged people those who do not really have a direct direct access to 
um, English education also desire to learn English for upward social mobility. They have realized that they can change their plight only if they know English. So it is looked as a um, means for entering the elite for people who already are not a part of the elite. It is very interesting that we see all these die-hard supporters of Urdu who support English for political reasons, for um, becoming prominent, for uh, making some place for themselves in the news. They themselves send their children to English medium schools. So all these politicians who have had um, a role in making these policies which support turning to Urdu when we look closely, they themselves are all English medium educated and they send their own children to English medium schools. Let's take a look at this excerpt which is from a report on English language teaching by a University Grants Commission. A University Grants Commission was a predecessor of a Higher Education Commission. We can clearly see that this recommendation from University Grants Commission is supporting the use of English and suggesting that Pakistan should try to make use of this capital that they already have from the undivided India times and instead of um, trying to turn to Urdu, they should make use of the knowledge of English that they already have. This privileging of English has had serious consequences for people in Pakistan. Above all, it has given birth to an underclass of people who have no role in uh, policy making or um, in any other serious business in Pakistan. So this policy or this status of English actually has completely marginalized a large majority of Pakistanis as the people who are um, well versed in English in Pakistan are a very small number. The majority of the people uh, still have um, competence in Urdu and because of this privileging of English, this special status which is given to English. Uh, majority of Pakistanis have been completely marginalized. Um, if we um, again, like I said earlier, look closely, we see that the, there has been a lot of talk about changing the policy, but no serious efforts have been made to um, teach uh, um, quality English to all the people. So we see there's a talk about turning to Urdu, but uh, no serious efforts are made to turn to Urdu and then the availability of English is despite realizing that English um, favors the people and helps them in uh, upward social mobility no serious efforts are made to provide equal opportunities for English English education for all so this has resulted in an underclass of people with no role in public policy making uh, who have limited social uh, educational and economic development because of the limited number of opportunities that they have for all these things. They have limited opportunities for social development, educational development and economic development. So we see that English has this special status in Pakistan but it has uh, caused a lot of harm to a large number of Pakistanis.